All right, this is the second part of this uh, trigo question. The first part of the video, I already explained uh, how to find the sine 2x, and this is the answer, just in case you haven't watched the first video. All right, in the second part, they ask us like, Hanks, show that tangent 15 equals to 2 minus square root 3. All right, this part is a little bit hard. I will call this part as a k bar question, because why? First thing is, yeah, you want to get the tangent 15 from here. It's kind of challenging here. So what I will do here is um, I will just let I will just let x equals to 15 degree. Okay, why I want to do that? Because if because here I have double angle, right? I see the word hangs, I know what? I kind of need to use the the result here to show this. So when I let x equals to 15 degree because of what? Because if I sub the x equals to 15 into 2x here, I kind of have sine 2 multiply 15. Sine 2 multiply 15 equals to sine 30 degree. And all of us know sine 30 degrees basically is 0 0.5 or 1 over 2. Then we might be able to get a quadratic equation from k here. Okay, because we understand k basically equals to tangent x. So if I let x equals to 15, at the same time I tell the examiner, this one is tangent 15 equals to k. You get the idea? So first thing is I sub the x into the tangent, then I will get tangent 15 equals to k. Means if I can make k in a subject, I can find a tangent 15. And then of course I need to show tangent 15 equals to 2 minus square root 3. All right. Second idea is I sub the x into the sine 2x because I already did that in my first video. So therefore, I sub into here, I will get sine 2 multiply 15 degree, which is my x is 15 degree, isn't it? Equals to 2k over 1 plus k squared. Wait, all right, from here, if I just want to make the k in the subject, then I kind of should be able to show here. All right, so Sine 30, you can type in the calculator, is 1 over 2. Equals to 2k over 1 plus k square. And then by crossover multiply, I should get 1 plus k square equals to 4k. Alright, then k square minus 4k plus 1 equals to 0. And then you should know, this one is basically the quadratic equation. Then what we want to do is, we need to solve the quadratic equation. And we have a formula for this kind of quadratic equation, isn't it? With the formula is basically um, x equals to negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. All right, this is the formula we have here. But in these cases, our x value, which is the k, isn't it? Because this is not like x squared minus 4x plus 1. This is k squared minus 4k plus 1. So what I want to do is, I will change the x here into the k. All right, I will change this one into the k. And then, I kind of need to know what's my a, b, c value here. My a is 1, b is negative 4, c is 1. All right, then I'm going to substitute here. So, my k equals to negative b is negative 4 so it's minus 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 square is 16 minus 4a is 1 and my c will be positive 1 divided by 2a 2 1 all right over here because you can see this one tangent 15 which is the k is, is only equals to the minus version so over here, normally I will do plus minus, but because of I only want to get a negative version, so over here I will just erase the positive. I only want negative v minus. Alright, of course if you want to know then where is the plus go, then maybe I can make another video to explain about that. Alright, then I just need to solve over here. I should be able to get exactly the same thing here. Alright, then my k should equal to 4 minus, this one will be square root 12 divided by 2. Alright, if I simplify this one, this one is exactly, take out the 2, right? Then this one, square root 12 is basically is um, 2 sub 3, isn't it? So, if I factorize out the 2 here and I simplify, I should get 2 minus square root 3. And what is k? k 
k is basically is tangent 15 isn't it k is so you can see my k is tangent 15 isn't it so therefore tangent 15 equals to 2 minus square root 3 done they asked me to show isn't it i will just write a shown all right this is how we solve this kind of k bar trivial question i hope at least you can learn something from this video i will see you guys in the next video bye bye